Big robots are cool. Big robots made up of smaller robots? Awesome. Let's face it, robots are taking over. You've got gutter cleaning robots, lawn mower robots, and pretty soon, robotic cars. Now what all these robots have in common is they're really good at certain tasks, but if they try to do anything else, they're pretty lousy. It reminds me of that time when I tried to get my robotic vacuum cleaner to make me a milkshake. What all these robots lack? is versatility. There's no single robot that's good at everything. But what if you could have a big robot that's made up of a bunch of tiny robots? And those tiny robots can change the shape of the larger robot to complete various tasks. This is a real thing. It's got a name, self-reconfigurable modular robots. Or as roboticist Mark Yim said in a paper on the subject, autonomous kinematic machines with variable morphology just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Well, everything will be made clear with an example. Imagine your bot of bots needs to screw in a light bulb. So hundreds, if not thousands of tiny robots join together to create legs, giving it a firm stance on the ground. More tiny robots form a long arm that reaches up to a shelf and picks a fresh light bulb. Then they reconfigure again, giving the arm 360 degrees of rotation and the robot screws in the light bulb. Now that the task is done, those tiny robots sever their connection and the big robot disintegrates. Now for all of this to happen, a lot of different components have to get together. For example, communication. Each module has to be able to communicate with all the other ones, as well as the overall system that's issuing the commands. We're talking layer upon layer of artificial intelligence from the overall system to the individual component. And this modular design means that those modules have to join together somehow. Those connections might be made by magnetic contacts or even by plugs and sockets. Whatever the method, it has to be both flexible flexible, and strong. Now there are already several examples out there in the real world. Over at MIT, students have built M-blocks. These are cube robots that can form together to make more complex shapes. Then at Harvard University, you've got the Killabots. Don't worry, they're friendly to humans and they display swarm behavior to complete tasks. So in the future, we'll have these robots made up of smaller robots that could revolutionize everything from manufacturing to our experience in the home. But what if we got even smaller than that? Let's talk smart dust. Now, I don't mean the stuff that's lingering on your bookshelves. I'm talking about machines that are developed on the micro scale to accomplish a certain task, like sensing the environment. The Michigan Micro Moat, developed at the University of Michigan, aims to do just that. They hope to get a sensor down to one cubic millimeter in size. Now, maybe in the future, we'll have sensors and robots that are so small, we're no longer talking about larger robots made up of smaller robots, every single object we come into is its own swarm. I mean, that's endlessly customizable environments. Now, maybe this future never comes around. Maybe we run into miniaturization issues. But even if I never get my own personal robo couch, I know that these miniature machines stand to make a big impact. All right, I've got a question for all of you guys this week. What three chores are you just ready to shove off onto a robot's plate? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to our channel, and join our robot army. Oh, and check out these videos over here.